So welcome back to another lecture in machine learning section. I am Sanji from searchingai.com and this lecture is about generative learning algorithm that is Gaussian discriminant analysis. Generative learning algorithms. So far we have been talking mainly about the learning algorithms that model condition distribution of y given x. Here is another learning algorithm that models the joint distribution of x by. So this is Gaussian discriminant analysis. Our training set belongs to normal distribution. We assume we make this assumption that our training set belongs to normal distribution with mean vector theta and covariance matrix sigma. And this is a density of the distribution of x parameterized by theta and covariance matrix sigma. This is 1 over 2 pi to n half times determinant of sigma half times exponential of negative of x minus theta transpose sigma square tra transpose sigma inverse x minus theta. This is the density of the distribution. Assumption of y. We, we make an assumption that we make an assumption that y belongs to Bernoulli distribution that is p of y is mu to y i times 1 minus mu to 1 minus y i. This you already covered in logistic regression model. So define parameters of the distribution. So these are the parameters of distribution. The parameters are mu, theta naught, theta 1 and, and covariance matrix sigma. So theta 1 is a mean vector of your training set of positive examples and uh, theta naught is a mean vector of your training set of negative examples that is 0 when y equal to 0 you take all the you take all the training instances consider the target vector if it's 0 then put it in a one group if y equal to 1 put it in another group take the mean of both the groups that will give you theta theta naught and theta 1 this we will get from our learning algorithm as will be clear later and uh, as you already know from our last regression lecture that p of y equal to 1 is mu. So what is covariance? Covariance is expected value of x minus expected value of x times x minus expected value of x transpose. You take the expected value of this, this times this, this times this transpose. You take the expected value of this whole thing and you will get the covariance matrix. This is if expected value of x is theta, then it is this covariance matrix. It will be clear in the upcoming slides. And the requirement for a covariance matrix should be positive semi-definite and it should be symmetric and positive semi-definite. So these are distribution for p of x given y equal to 0 and p of x given y equal to 1. So x with y equal to 0 belongs to a normal distribution of mean vector theta naught and covariance matrix sigma and your x with y equal to 1 belongs to normal distribution of mean vector theta 1 and covariance matrix sigma both share the same covariance matrices that is sigma but have different mean vector so this is a distribution 1 over 2 pi 2 and half times determinant of sigma to half times exponential of negative x minus theta naught transpose sigma inverse x minus theta naught and, sa and same is the distribution of p of x given y equal to 1. These are the distribution. So this is the density for normal distribution with mean theta naught and covariance sigma and this is the distribution th uh, this is the density for distribution mean theta 1 and covariance sigma. So far we have been talking about the conditional distribution and uh, we discussed about the likelihood. Now we talk about the joint likelihood. And let me tell you what what is this. So likelihood is some function of parameters as we already discussed in, uh, in the previous lectures. So uh, your likelihood is a function of mu, theta naught, theta 1 and covariance matrix sigma. And this is your likelihood function that is uh, p of i there is multiplication over all i from 1 to n and p of xi comma y i. There is a joint distribution. Take the log, it will become joint log likelihood. 
and this is this okay you take the like uh, you take the log of this thing it will give you this and from this you will get this thing okay this is from the base rule okay you are uh, we are discussing now the joint log likelihood so there is a joint distribution and this we get from the base rule that is joint distribution of p of xi comma yi is p of xi given yi times p of yi so this is our joint likelihood and joint log likelihood and this we get from the base rule the second step follows from the base rule and if you already know graphical models if you know or if you already know graphical models and latent variable that will be covered in the upcoming lectures then this is the exact representation that is log, uh, joint log likelihood is log of is log of multiplication of all i from 1 to n p of y, p of x i given y i parameterized by theta naught theta 1 and sigma times p of y i parameterized by mu so maximize the joint log likelihood or minimize the negative joint log likelihood and then we will determine the parameters of the distribution so parameter mu is r max over mu of joint log likelihood of parameters so if you maximize you will get this mu is 1 over n summation of all i from 1 to n indicator function of y i equal to 1 this indicator function uh, this i denotes the indicator function and uh, this will return you 1 if y equal to 1 and this will return you 0 if y i is not equal to 1 so as we already assumed uh, as we already saw in the loss regression in the burner in the burner distribution that p of y equal to 1 is just equal to mu and this is what we are getting from this arc max over mu and likewise the parameters theta naught and theta 1 and covariance matrix sigma are these uh, theta naught is summation over all i from 1 to n indicator function of y equal to 0 times xi over indicator function of over summation of all i from 1 to n of indicator fun of indicator function of y equal to 0 this will return you 1 if y equal to 0 and 0 as well And likewise, this theta one, this same as this formula, or just replace y equal to one here with zero. And this is a covariance matrix. This is one over n summation of all i from one to n x i minus minus theta subscript indicator of y equal to one times x i minus indicator minus theta subscript indicator of y equal to one transpose this means that if y equal to 1 then you should subtract theta 1 from xi and if y equal to 0 then you should subtract theta 0 from xi this subscript of indicator function of y equal to 1 means that if y equal to 1 then you should subtract theta naught you should subtract theta 1 from uh, xi and if y equal to 0 then you should subtract theta naught from xi so this was all about Gaussian discriminant analysis. So thank you for watching this. For upcoming lectures and projects, check out the new section of the website. And the next lecture will be on trade-off analysis of logistic regression and Gaussian discriminant analysis. And then a video will be posted on project on Gaussian mixture model for phase detection. Thank you guys for watching this video. I am Sanjeev from searching.com.